Hello everyone, this is Ricardo Mazzini and this is vlog. So this vlog is about Fighters of the Pacific. Yeah, that's a game that's just been published in a Kickstarter in a few months ago. I spent quite a lot of time on playing it because it is a quick playing game. It's, this means lots of different plays at the same game. And um, uh, really, it is a game that really surprised me. Why? Because this game uh, tries, attempts to be, strives to be an historical simulation, but without dice. This is a completely deterministic game slash deterministic, quote deterministic game um, that really manages manages to capture that historical feel about the Pacific War in the in the, uh, the, 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 the air Pacific War in the sky. Uh, this is a game, uh, once again, that really surprised me. Why? Because, as I told you, it has strictly deterministic mechanics. This means I move this, uh, this plane, if this other plane is here, I move my own plane here, and bam, this is a zero. Okay, this is just, just one point of damage. It's gone. No dice. Absolutely. But in doing so, this this game, if I if I shoot the plane, that plane can react, can dodge, and then it can fire at another one of my own, my own, my own planes. And if I shoot him, yes, he can dodge. Maybe there is another airplane here, and he can fire and so on as an action, reaction, reaction. And also in this game where uh, you activate some of your pieces on one turn, uh, on, on one activation, sorry, on one impulse, then it's the turn of your opponent, but it depends if you have or you do not have the initiative, and the initiative depends on the fact that you have uh, cohesive uh, single air groups at the same altitude, with the same heading, with the same direction, and uh, the same facing or not if you are scattered. Uh, there are variables upon variables upon variables at every turn, even just the fact of having the initiative of using that initiative or leaving that initiative to your opponent uh, is a very deep uh, mm, a uh, tactical choice with lots of consequences. But all those consequences are based on an historical model. Why? Because initiative depends on the fact that, that you have or you do not have cohesive air uh, groups. Because historically it was much easier to coordinate a single air group instead of lots of planes scattered around. So that initiative works in an historical way. Those planes, every single plane has its own characteristics and special special traits, and special abilities, and uh, different arcs of fire. And they have uh, there are different maneuvers for dive bombing, torpedo bombing, level bombing, or the anti aircraft the flak, or the dogfight. And uh, a, a wildcat will behave much differently than uh, than a zero. And this is all the all historical. So, what's the point here? The point here is that the mechanics are, are deeply deterministic, that is the single move, the single fire, etc. But the dynamics created by those mechanics through a lots of variables, a lots of multiplication of variables at every single decision, and the fact that all those variables are dependent on ponderated and rationalized historical modelization well this means that this game is uh, a game with uh, deterministic mechanics but non-deterministic really simulative simula simulationist dynamics because dynamics are how mechanics interact with each other and the end result is a surprisingly historical game with 
incredibly his rules there are just four or five pages of rules nothing more uh, yes there are lots of scenarios some of them are generic some of them are historical some of them are counterfactual but they are beautifully presented in a very great layout with the very good uh, player action cut diagrams and graphics and visuals very graphic visual guys they are French those designers are French and this and this shows because as, as far as visual arts and graphics uh, French designers and French graphics are top absolutely top level well with all this with such a light war game you get a good uh, 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 respectable uh, uh, very nice historical modelization historical simulation and this really surprised me not just out of complexity because i'm used to 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 games that are low complexity that are surprisingly easy to to play etc and they, they are also surprisingly good on the historical simulation level no 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 the fact that you do not have the die you do not use dice and yet you have a good historical simulation yes some small things uh, should be left to the dice i'd say uh, the, the dive bombing the fact that you drop a bomb on a carrier and it always strikes that carrier yes maybe that is a bit too much but in the general course of things of, of the scenarios this really doesn't matter not so much at least uh, it is a surprisingly easy game to play to set up on the table you open the box and you are ready in a couple of minutes to play it you look at it it's beautiful okay this is the kickstarter material this is the new print map but also the, 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 the base map with the, with the segments with the puzzle segments i don't i don't really like them but it is nice uh, the graphics are absolutely stunning uh, so it is a game that is meant to be played and you can really play and play and play it so many so many times uh also in solita if you want there is a solita bot well the solita bot that comes with the game and really it is a bit too rigid because once again no dice and a bottle with no dice <laughs> as can have two rigid priorities on board and geek uh, uh, someone made a very good uh, solita bot uh, using dice okay and this gives a bit of more variability and the game can as every chest like game can get to a stalemate if you're just a few uh, pieces around but it, it it doesn't matter it is a very good game yeah some scenarios are good some uh, well, they should be adjusted a bit but it is absolutely easy to to, to adjust uh, some uh, scenarios to your liking it is easy to create your own scenarios this is a great tournament game because it doesn't last so long and it is very tense very with, with every single move you will get the chest like feeling oh i should go strike for my for my target no i should get low altitude but i will be vulnerable next turn so it is better that i keep the initiative and okay but to, in order to keep initiative i have to run to to renounce to this great shot but if i get that shot it will react it possibly he will, he will get behind me uh, there are lots of calculations maybe even too much sometimes it can lead to some analysis paralysis with, with some players so uh, also the duration of the place can get very long if everyone is really trying to calculate every single variable but at the end you will begin playing intuitively just just from your guts <laughs> just uh, j just shooting from the hip as, as the nasic says the scs series you get intuitive and you will make mistake why because you will make mistake in this game it is inevitable uh, i'm sorry but you will make mistake you will have to cope with mistake you will make also silly mistake in one of my first plays i lost three torpedo bombers three japanese torpedo bombers because uh, i sent them low altitude they said okay they are uh, they, they, they cannot be hit here but my opponent used the split test and surprised me and bam three bombers were gone this happened historically someone made a silly mistake and bam three torpedo bombers were gone 
the, the clouds, they're, 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 they're fundamental, they're, they're crucial because you can hide planes here, not so much because the planes, they, 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 you cannot uh, adjust to match the speed, if they're fast planes, so you, they will go straight ahead. Okay, this is the new prime map, this means that these clouds are, um, are mobile on the base set that they are printed on the map and there are various combinations they will not move but oh the solitaire bot that i told you also has uh, variation for the position of the, of the clouds depending on, on wind so it adds even more variability but even the same scenario will always play differently if you do one move or the other the variables are so many there are so many small balances here and there that just a little variation will change everything so, in the end, this is a very good game, this is a very surprising game, a surprisingly good simulation game, um, a surprisingly good simulation model, very good for newcomers, for young world gamers, yes, for teaching your, your, uh, your children, your, 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 your younger friends what is historical gaming, also, if, it, if they don't like, oh, I don't like randomness, I don't like dice, etc., but I like history, no excuses, you have a very good historical simulation with no dice involved. Then it is all up to you. I love dice, I love randomness, I always say so because in war games in simulation randomness is not arbitrary, it is made by the historical model uh, chosen by the designer. Okay. But here there is no dice, and yet it is a mobile game, it's a very good game, it is not just a kid's game, because you will find lots of uh, uh, unforeseen depth in, uh, in this game. Um, so, it really surprised me. And uh, I have to admit, I, made the, I purchased this Kickstarter out of curiosity, let's try it, let's experiment with it. I got lots of stuff. Here we are. I want to tell you so many stuff. So many. Whoa! This is all what you get with a Kickstarter. But also the base game. There is lots of there is lots of material, lots of planes, etc. Uh, lots of missions. Great game. It really surprised me, and I'm really happy for my choice. And now there is a new Kickstarter coming for Fighters over of Europe. Fighters of Europe, that is the version of this game set in Europe from the Battle of Britain, even before the Battle of France, up to the strategic bombing campaign of 44-45. Um, and it really changes everything because there are different types of models with different traits, different characteristics, all historical. Very nice, very interesting. I hope it is not just a reskin, there is something more. But even that, there is lots of repairability, lots of variation. So for me, also that Kickstarter will be an insta buy. This is a surprising game, a light war game, uh, but with a with a very good simulation uh, simulation model with this with a good simulation result. Very accessible. You just get it on the table, even on conventions, and you will gather attention because it is a fantastic game, it's a fantastically looking game. Uh, really surprising. Um, yes, it is not perfect. There are many abstractions here and there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Why? Because it is a good game. And it is a good war game. It is a good simulation game. This was Father's Oba Pacific. Really recommend it to try something really different. Uh, but also something very nice and once again this is a game that is meant to be played it won't stay on the shelf because you open it and in five ten minutes at the very most you are, still, you are already playing a scenario um, so once again thank you for having me here see you next time and as always remember don't be scared it's just war games ciao